Since I spent so much time in the car during the race, uh, being a pro-am uh, team, uh, usually it's uh, it's uh, at least uh, you know two hours, two hours and 15 minutes at 130 degrees. Uh, so we we've been uh, doing everything we can just to make sure I, you know, I'm kind of cool at uh, the end of the race. One of the drawbacks to the traditional ice chest system is in a long race the ice is gone. So by the end of a driver's stint he's still sitting in hot water, literally. So that doesn't work so well. So you either have to change out the ice chest, which is a total hassle, because it's heavy and there's a lot of water connections, or we decided to come up with this solid state device. And the way this thing works is there's this neat little device called a Peltier junction. And if you put, if there's a temperature differential across the chip, it'll make voltage. And if you put a voltage differential across the chip, it makes a temperature differential. So we take advantage of that, and that's how we cool the water. So we can cool the water to about 20 degrees below ambient. So if it's 70 degrees, we can make 50 degree water just to circulate around the driver's core. We don't have the conventional uh, ice, uh, you know, ice uh, cooler box. Um, you know, they developed a, a pretty neat deal, but I still, uh, I'm still, beaten up on, on Dave Canning on uh, making it uh, cooler. It, it, it doesn't work uh, as, as, uh, with the temperature as low as the, the ice co uh, cooler, but uh, you know, at the end of the race, I've, I've, got, I've got some, uh, some, uh, some temperature, some cool temperature. Sometimes uh, being in the car for such a long time, uh, at the end of the race, the, with, the, with the ice box, there's no more ice. So it's only hot water going around. Uh, we, uh, we are pretty happy with the system we have, uh, but we are always uh, looking for improvement. We ran the ice chest for about, a, about two years, and the real incentive was at uh, the first race at Miller, which was a nine-hour race, somebody jumped out of the car and forgot to unplug their cool suit, and all the water came out of the ice chest. So the next guy had nada. So for seven hours in the race, we had no driver cooling. This is the box. Um, you have a water reservoir here, and then the cold water oh wait, comes out here. That's where they plug their cold suits into these two outlets. Dave Canning uh, developed this uh, this plug, which is the three th three in one uh, water driver ID and um, you know the the radio. We connect it once. Uh, also, my helmet. Uh, we just been uh, trying very hard to. Uh, get the most air into into my nose. Uh, this is a custom-made, uh, you know, air tube with um, uh, with two um, little medicine um, uh, blowers that direct the, the air straight into my uh, my nose. You know, when uh, when you're racing at tracks like uh, Barber or Daytona in July, um, you just don't have uh, cool air to breathe. Uh, you know, it's 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 hot air, and it's almost sometimes it feels like there's no air. <laughs> so it helps a lot. It helps like immensely.